So another quick tip you can get about layout design is about hover states around links, around images, or something that you want to click to go there. Obviously one of the new things that is very predominant in kind of the way we use the web now is that we actually don't show the lines underneath of links and that kind of stuff. And where there's still a lot of people that are uncomfortable with that, overall that's a process people have had to figure out. What we do want to make sure is that we always have a consistent use of hover state in that so if we're not going to have that, if somebody does roll over it that there is some type of visual indicator here and you can see actually the visual indicator here is the hand uh, turning into the pointer uh, I've actually seen a lot of scenarios especially when people want like clickable divs or something like that by default it actually doesn't show the hand and it'll actually show the text icon like you can select text and that kind of stuff so it actually shows you know more of uh, like if I was to select something on the page in there so the text icon right here though it may end up being clickable so one of the things to always make Make sure as it has the hand in part of that. But the other thing you should always look at doing is making sure that if you're going to use that kind of styling that it does have some kind of hover state and that, that hover state is relatively consistent. So here much like we have over here where it actually underlines and changes colors. Here you have a little bit different with it actually turning to black. Here with the image it actually goes to a more translucent type uh, version of itself. But overall what that does is it gives the visual indication to a user that you can do something with this and something that's very common.